Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rag. In this video, I will be giving you an example of how to find the volume of a rectangular pyramid. We've talked before about finding the volume of rectangular prisms. So in this video, I'm going to give you an example of a rectangular pyramid and kind of compare the difference between prisms and pyramids and hopefully you can get something from this video. Uh, first, let's look at this rectangular pyramid that I have labeled down here at the, at the bottom. Okay, so pyramids are classified by their base. So in this example, I have a rectangular base. So I have a rectangular pyramid. Uh, the lateral faces or the sides of the figure that are not the base. Okay, that's what lateral faces are. Um, the lateral faces of, of a pyramid are all triangles. And all of these triangles meet at the vertex or one common point. The height of my pyramid is a perpendicular line from the center of my base to the vertex okay? and that's going to be very important so let's take a look at this example have a I have a rectangular pyramid so we're going to use this formula volume equals one-third the area of the base times the height of the pyramid okay this formula is pretty similar to the volume of a prism okay the only difference is we have to multiply our uh, area of the base times the height by one-third okay and the reason why is because <coughs> if I had a prism with the same dimensions a rectangular prism that was they had an 8 by 7 inch base with a height of 6 inches. If I had a prism with these dimensions, I could essentially fit three pyramids with the same dimensions into that prism. Okay, so three of these pyramids could fit into a prism with similar dimensions so that's why we have to multiply our dimensions by one-third okay so here we go we have one-third area of the base our base is a rectangle so we have length times width or eight times seven and then we're going to multiply the area of the base times the height of the pyramid which is six inches okay so eight times seven is fifty six so we have one third times fifty six times six okay I'm just gonna work out fifty six times six Okay, we're just multiplying at this point, so it doesn't matter which order you multiply. It's 56 times 6. That's going to give me 336. So now what I'm going to do is multiply 1 third times 336. Okay. And multiplying by 1 third is the same as dividing by 3 okay so 336 divided by 3 it's gonna give me 112 inches cubed for the volume of my rectangular pyramid and there you go thanks for watching